Welcome back. I wanted to give you a sneak peek at the digital planning that I have been doing lately. That is uh, using a planner on the iPad. So the app application that I'm using in order to view the, um, excuse me, in order to view the uh, planner is called GoodNotes. There are a variety of other applications that you can use like Zoom Notes or Notability and things like that. But for um, my purposes, I'm using GoodNotes. I find it's the easiest to use. However, it doesn't have as many font options. So I know a lot of people complain um, that they'd prefer Zoom Notes, but I'm still learning how to use that right now. So I can't speak to its um, usage yet because I'm still learning. So for now, I'm just going to uh, launch the GoodNotes app. And right now I have the uh, planner that I bought hmm, maybe uh, th two or three weeks ago, and it is uh, made by Good Planner. I'll put a link to their website. This is the 2019 version, but I was able to start using it in the last week of November, and it goes all the way, I think, through January of 2020. Uh, this is one of the covers that I um, got with it and then what you actually receive is a PDF document that opens up in GoodNotes. The reason why I love this planner is because there are so many clickable links to jump around uh, the page. So over on the right hand side there are January through December. However, there's also a small little number 12 in the upper right corner and a small little number one in the bottom corner um, that I am able to tap on in order to see December or January of 2020, um, December of 2018. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that in just a moment. We also have clickable links up at the right, which I have um, tried to set up yet. Uh, I've tried to set up some of them, but not all. And I want to wait until I've decided on what I will use those for before I add what I will use are icons from um, my keyboard to indicate um, what their usage is for. And then all of these tabs uh, on the right I can click on and then over to the left hand corner is the number 19 which is a year at a glance as well as holiday lists, personal and work and these were custom requests by me to add those tabs as well as the on the left hand side for um, custom tabs, financial, family, faith, health, home and social. And then on the bottom, we have um, a plus sign for uh, graph paper, dot grid, lined paper, blank paper, and the uh, Good Planner, uh, which launches to the goodplanner.com website. Um, so I'll go there for just a second so you can see what I am referring to as far as the uh, website is concerned. So this is where I purchased my digital planner. So I'll go back to GoodNotes and let's start by clicking on the 19 and this is my year to glance. Uh, I have my monthly goals at the top as well as a little goal tracker. This goal tracker is um, financial as well as health related trackers such as no spend um, and I can zoom in so you can see this better but there's no spend, uh, if I added money to savings, if I paid off a bill, um, making sure that I did drink water first before every meal, uh, no junk food, etc. So um, the beauty of these is that I can slide to different pages. So we've got January through June on the first page and then July through December on the next page and then it jumps right into the December months. Now I could have gone to the December by tapping on that little 12 in the upper right hand corner and as you can see I do have a few icons in the upper right oops in the upper right already set up for those um, buttons and I can tap them without using the pencil but they uh, the, hand, the pencil is handy in these situations. So I can zoom in and out with my December all of these are clickable links. So for example, 
If I want to go to week 48, which is the week of November 26 or week 49, I just tap that um, uh, button right there. And uh, if I want to go to a specific day, I just tap on the day and it goes to the daily page. Uh, to go back to either the weekly page, I can tap the weekly um, icon at the top. So let me go back to December's monthly page. Oops, I always do that. And then the weekly and then the daily. So that's how you can go back and forth. If I want to go to the fourth, I can tap it here as well. These also, the daily pages, have links on them as well. So for example, if I wanted to check the weather, now it will go to the today's weather. So that's not the weather for the third, but it is. So you, you would tap it on the day that you're actually using it. So I'll go back to good notes and I'll go back to the week. So this is what I've done to set up my first week. A blank page, let me show you what a blank page looks like. Uh, here is March, and this is what a blank page looks like. It's very light gray in color. And when I expand it, they're broken down by um, 6, 6.30, 7, 7.30, 8, 8.39, etc. At the top, there are three boxes where I can put in my, my top priorities, etc. But let's go back to the current week. And these are all fonts and texts. So if I want to add an appointment today, like um, to do a YouTube video, I would just type on the pencil icon and type in YouTube upload. Now, if you don't like your handwriting, I could um, do this as text as well. So I can just tap on here and say text and spell out YouTube video. I can make it bigger, a different color. Um, you know, something like that and then slide it around. Then once I've done this, I can sit there and um, move it to a different place if I didn't accomplish it. If I want to delete it, I can just tap and hold and hit delete. Or if it's handwriting, let me delete that again. If it's handwriting, I can erase it or I can circle it like I'm doing right now and hit delete or I'll undo. I can also erase it with the eraser. I can highlight words. So let me go to type that or handwrite that word YouTube in here. I want to highlight it. If I want to make oh, it's a squiggly line, let me do redo it. I can make it so that it comes out as a straight line using these little icons over here. I can add in pages. I can move things around. Oops, I always forget to do that. Um, move appointments, etc. If if something gets moved, I can add stickers. So for example, I have stickers in different areas. And if I want to take a sticker, I can just copy it and then paste it where I want. I can also resize it. I can also crop it. By just tapping and I'm going to do freehand. And go done. And there's my image. I can just move it to where I would like. Again, just click and drag. So very easy to add things. These are all little um, just stickers that I found online. Uh, the great thing about this is they're PNG files. So all I have to do is go to an internet site, type in checkbox PNG. I always go to images and then I find something that is Usually it has a background like this, um, this kind of background. If you'll notice, it's kind of got a check mark, uh, like little boxes in the back. It doesn't automatically mean that they won't show up. So all I do is hit save image and then use the um, image in the GoodNotes app. So for example, I just hit image, photos, all photos, and then see how it has that checkbox. It's not always, um, handy to have that. So 
I delete those and then I go to an app called the uh, Magic Eraser which is a very handy tool and I upload the photo just like so I hit done and then I use this little magic eraser and fill in the spots that I don't want any color and I go done and there it is high resolution go back and now I can go image photos all photos and there it is and now it's see-through so that's how easy it is um, like I said, most of the things that I put in are stickers, but I do handwrite all, uh, a lot of things, such as my to-dos and, and things of that nature. But the weather are from Boho Berry. Um, she offered some stickers uh, when she launched her uh, planner, digital planner app, and I purchased that planner. But I prefer this one because it's dated. It has monthly, weekly, daily with all these extra places that I can go to. So for example, financial, let me go over here, to financial, my bills are on here. I've got, let me go the other way. And then I have some medical, health, my household, YouTube, social postings, and then I can go up here to holidays. I don't have anything in it yet. Lists are where I'm keeping track of a variety of different things. I've got personal and work up here. And then earlier I told you I've got some icons already started in the upper right hand corner. As you can see, a little plane that's for a traveling trip. So I have my packing list. And then the second um, button is for meal planning. And I think I had a grocery shopping list here. There we go. So great to have all of this stuff in one planner so I don't have to um, have a thousand different pages. So, but yeah, that's what I've been doing lately. Uh, I've been doing it since May of this year. Crazy, huh? Anyway, I know that was fast. There was a lot to go over of what I'm doing, but if you have any questions, feel free to ask me down below. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.